is day 21 of the Jesus Reveal podcast. Hello, everyone. My name is Ntlem Ngube, and I'm your host. In this podcast, we are chronicling over the next 40 episodes, the next 40 days, the life and ministry of, of Jesus Christ. And today, we're looking at a, a very, very interesting period uh, where Jesus is rejected by, by the Samaritans. And in our, in our scripture reference, we're looking at Luke chapter 9 from verse 51 to, to 61. And for this, I am joined by Pastor Humutso Khobe. Pastor Humutso, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Good day to you and thank you for having me. Yeah. So, uh, Pastor Humutso, this is a very... Look, we have seen, I think, in previous times where Jesus was rejected, for example, in Nazareth, in his hometown. Now we are seeing him being rejected here. But I, I just want to start off where it, it talks about Jesus wanting to go to, 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 to Jerusalem. And I think just to quote it, it says that he, he was resolute in, 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 in going to Jerusalem. Why was that? Why was he so insistent on, on being there? Okay, um, we must remember that uh, it was during the time where the Jews were making a pilgrimage to Jerusalem to commemorate the festival of booths or tabernacles. Yeah. So none of his disciples knew why he was going there because the assumption was all of us as Jews are going there. Mm. But he was going to Jerusalem because it was his time to die in Jerusalem. So I, I'd like to believe that Jesus Christ knew what his calling was all about. Remember, Samaritans historically hate Jews. Yeah. And now, to such an extent that when they go to Jerusalem, the shortest route is via Samaria. But they choose to go the other way yes, around yes. the Jordan. So Jesus, in my opinion, is demonstrating to us that he came for those who are rejected, those who are hated, and because he knew that this is probably my last time before I leave earth, yeah, let me yeah. go and minister to them for the very last time. Wow. It's not new. Yeah. I mean, Jesus breaks cultural boundaries. For example, the Samaritan woman at the yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He, he did Break it. Remember, it was taboo for a Jew to share a vessel of water mm. with a Samaritan. Yeah. You are considered unclean. Wow. Jesus broke that. Ten lepers were cleansed in Samaria. Hmm. Unclean. You know, who got the commendation from Jesus being a good Samaritan? It's a Samaritan to yeah. expose yeah. the hypocrisy of the scribes and the Pharisees to say, look, I'm going to demonstrate to you the very last time that I came for the sick. Mm, Those mm, who you mm. are despising and rejecting are the ones that I came yeah. for them. So for me, yes, he had to go to Jerusalem because it was his me. It's, it's so interesting. They say he is resolute. Yeah. He was focused. Hmm. Yet other scholars are saying he was reluctant to go there, okay. yet he knew he had to go. Hence, mm. if this cup can pass, you understand? Yeah, so he, yeah, he, he, yeah, he, was, yeah. he, was, he was anxious, just like everyone, his humanity, but he knew that I, I had to, to go it. because it was the correct timing. Wow, thank, thank you for that outlay, uh, Pastor Kumoto. Yeah. Now, okay, then I want to understand this rejection yeah. by the Samaritans yeah. because as you said earlier, mm. Jesus is the one that was, unlike the other Jews, yeah. was reaching out to them, was the one that reached out to the Samaritan woman, mm -hmm. is the one that mm -hmm. cleansed the lepers. Mm -hmm. And so it, I would like to believe he, mm -hmm. he would have a good reputation in a way. Here's this Jew mm -hmm. that is reaching out to us and has shown compassion and nothing mm -hmm. but love for mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. But... Now we understand when we read this passage, mm. he was not welcome there. Mm. And why is that? Why, why was it just purely on him being a Jew, or was there are there other things at play? Okay, let's start where you say being a Jew, because yeah. that's where it starts. 
Now, historically, if you remember, you, you, when the 12 tribes of Israel were divided into uh, 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 northern Israel yeah. and, and the southern Judah, you know, Israel in the north, you know, they were captured by the Assyrians. Yeah. And then what happened thereafter, the Assyrians repopulated Israel, as it was known, with the other people from other lands that they've captured. Yeah. And naturally, there was intermarriage. From there came what we call Samaritans today. Mm -hmm. Now, the Jews don't consider them as a pure race, you know, because of that. They, they feel that they are contaminated. They are no longer Jews yeah. as, as original. So that was the, the, the first reason. Secondly, their worship, you know, the Samaritans, for example, they believe strictly in the first five books of Moses. Actually, they believe that Moses is greater than Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. You know, so, 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 this, 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 uh, 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 thirdly, when, 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 when the southern Judah was captured, if you go to the book of Nehemiah and Ezra 4, mm -hmm. when they came back to rebuild Jerusalem, the Samaritans offered to assist them, and they refused. Why? We can't allow you impure Samaritans to come and yeah. contaminate yeah. the house of the Lord. So that solidified the hatred. Mm -hmm. Now, here comes Jesus. If you look at uh, uh, Luke chapter 9, I think it's the 53rd verse. Yeah. It gives you a, a, a reason textually. The context there is that he sent his messengers to go and prepare for him there. Mm. Scholars mm. are saying he wanted to lodge there to sleep overnight before he can go to Jerusalem. Yes, yes. But then his mistake was he was facing towards Jerusalem, mm. where the Samaritans were expelled. Originally, the 12 uh, tribes okay. used to pilgrimate towards Jerusalem. Yeah. That's where now, when it comes to the worship, the Samaritan decided to make Mount Jerusalem, yes, their headquarters, the whereas those who were pure Israelites used Jerusalem. Yeah, so, yeah. Jesus, you're coming to us. Hmm. Now, instead of coming and honor us and worship at Mount Jerusalem, you are going to Jerusalem, wow. where our worst enemies, the Jews, are residing. Mm -hmm. No, we're not going to have it. We're not going to offer you anything. We are rejecting you sure. for that reason. And sure, Pasa, Pasa, Pasa Homoso, then with all of that hostility yeah. that is facing him, in a sense, it's it sort of justified then what James and John said, that, you know, should we call down fire from heaven to really smite these people? However, Jesus rebukes them. And why? Why would Jesus rebuke them in, 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 in this context? You started very well. It's logical. I would yeah. have done the same. I yeah. mean, uh, I want to be a hero for my Jesus. Yes, you know, yes. To say, Jesus, let me deal with these people. Do they know who you are? Yeah. You know, how can they reject you? Hmm. You know? And Jesus says to them, you know what? And, and obviously, John and James, they're not called the sons of thunder by mistake. Mm, mm, mm. They have got a temper. Yeah. They are easily offended. Sure. So they are doing what comes naturally from them. And then Jesus says to them, by the way, who appointed you to be judges? I'm going to Samaria because I am giving everyone. My death is yeah. for people like those who are rejecting me. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to die for them. Hmm. Yes, a time will come where all those who have hardened their hearts towards the gospel message will be judged. And not by you, John and James, mm. but by me. Yeah. For now, I am going there to give them another chance. Therefore, setting an example to all of us, if I were to apply it today. Yeah. You know, yeah. the Great Commission yeah. says, go ye into the world and make disciples. Yeah. Now, James and John are going into the world to judge and mm. condemn. That is why I say to people, the world that we are going to has got Samaritans, yeah. has got drunkards, mm -hmm. has got addicts, yeah. has got all the worst in Jesus knew. 
Hence, in Matthew chapter 10, verse 14, when the Pharisees are saying, what type of a Messiah are you? When we, are, we find you with tax collectors, tax collectors were hated. We know yes, that. Yes, yes. Prostitutes, all the outcasts, you, 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 you touch lepers. Are you really the Messiah? And his answer was, those who are healthy don't need a doctor. Amen. I have come so that those who are sick can be healed. So that's what he's trying to say to John, James and John to say, yes, you hate these people. Yes, they rejected me. However, Father, forgive them, yeah. for they don't, know they don't know what they are doing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, if, if, and, and praise God for that, uh, Pastor Humoso, because I, I then want to, I think you've already touched on it, but I think let's maybe bring it then into, into, in, into the life of the believer as well in this present time then, um, just summarizing what we have seen and what would be the, the key takeaways then that you'd like us to walk away with? You know, yes, you're right. I, I was ahead of myself. I'm so passionate when it comes to being compassionate towards yeah. a, 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 a non-believers. We, we have it wrong, uh, including myself. Mm. The Great Commission is very clear. It doesn't say come into the church yeah. and convert each other and have the red pens to say, hey, did you see, hey, Pastor Adrian missed a mark this month? Because that's what we're doing. We're so full of the weight. Yeah. Very clear. We come to church so that we can be equipped yeah. for the world that we have been called to. The pulpit out there is bigger. Mm. It's very clear. Silent word of truth. One person, the pulpit belongs to, that's Bishop Lazarus. Yeah. The rest of us, our pulpit is out there yeah, yeah, where yeah. Jesus says the harvest is plentiful and the workers, the workers are, are few. few. However, yeah. Jesus is teaching us of as we go and hit the, 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 that evangelism, making disciples, what is our attitude? Our attitude should never be that of James and John. Yes, yes, who yes blood was boiling as soon as they are rejected. We mm. are going to be rejected, my brother. Yes, yes. It is yes. happening right now. You know, you, you find people saying, are you bored? Hmm. Don't you have anything else to do? Hey, just leave me alone, you know? Yeah. When we, Jesus gives us a solution, he says, if you are not received in a village or land, mm. all you need to do Dust your shoes, just, just your shoes, move on to the next village. Yeah. That's yeah. the key takeaway for me to say, let us not judge or condemn. All we have to do, our brief is, our mandate is, you preach, you teach, you make disciples. Yeah. Others will receive the message. Not everyone will receive the message. Just move on. Yeah, yeah. And I think, sure, as, as we wrap up, Pastor Komosa, as, as you're saying this, you know, it's really not the onus on us to, mm -hmm. in a way, convert, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just referencing what the commission is mm -hmm. saying, God mm -hmm. there, um, preach the gospel, make disciples. Mm -hmm. Nowhere in yes. there does it say the believer yes. is responsible for the conversion. Mm -hmm. Just referencing that First Corinthians mm -hmm. where Paul says, mm -hmm. we planted, maybe mm -hmm. Apollos watered, but the yeah. actual person that does mm -hmm. the increase, it's, it's God. It's the Lord himself. Yeah, yeah. And, and to... To go back to your point, which was so important mm. around our response when we're getting, when we're not welcomed mm. and when we face persecution mm. for what we believe and for the message that we carry, we shouldn't be surprised. Mm. I mean, we shouldn't be angry, we shouldn't mm. rebuke mm. because that's like being angry at a mm. dog for barking. Of course, what we present is not naturally comfortable yes. and welcoming to them. Yes. And so we must always then, mm. as mm. Jesus did, mm. present that mm. compassion that mm. you so mm. rightly mm. said. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so, Pastor Khamoso, thank you so much mm. again. I think this was a great takeaway point as we, I guess, close out day 21. And we have seen, I think now, it's been about two weeks of seeing Christ being very compassionate to either those that were lost, those that were depressed, mm. and now those that have blatantly rejected him. Mm. Mm. And it's such a big lesson now 
to those that are listening yes. around what is the right response mm. to hostility and rejection mm. when we mm. present the gospel. Mm. Mm. And so God bless you, Pastor Chumoso, for that. And to everyone that is listening, I, I just pray that this may be a big lesson for us all as we live out the commission, go beyond the four walls, learning to disciple the other, do it with compassion, do it like Jesus did in knowing that ultimately it is all about him and it is all about him sustaining us as we do this work. So God bless you. And I pray that if this has been a blessing for you, you can like and subscribe in our various podcast channels. You can like and subscribe us on, on Spotify and Apple, on YouTube as well, Silo Mode of Truth, Brackpan, and Jesus Revealed on our podcast and on, on Apple and Spotify. God bless you. Oh.